Hello, I'd just like to start this by saying this is not going to be a technical comparison. I'm not going to be doing any um, any in-depth comparisons with the images of these two lenses, but I am going to explain why I'm going to choose the Viltrox over the Fujifilm, just in case anyone's thinking about doing the same thing. So, as you can see, the Viltrox is bigger. It's about a third bigger. It's also about a third weight here. I think this is about 200 grams and this is about 300 grams. I thought that might be a little bit of an issue with me using uh, such a lightweight Fuji camera, but it's not. Um, I, it's very manageable. Uh, so I was, I was quite happy with the weight. Um, this is a near perfect lens, the 50 f2. It's absolutely amazing. There's no flaws at all in it. It's so crunchy on the latest sensors. It's amazingly sharp. Um, the only little issue with that is a little bit of chromatic calibration in the corners occasionally, but it's easily fixable. Now with the Viltrox, you've got um, a massive problem, which is chromatic calibration. And sometimes it's not fixable because it's all over the frame, it's in the middle and everything. I've tried everything in Lightroom uh, desktop and Lightroom mobile and I just can't get rid of some, some of it sometimes on particularly sunny days. If you're in a cloudy place or you know, you're know you shooting, you don't think you're gonna get uh, high contrast scenes with chromatic aberration, then you, be, you should be fine. But you should be aware that the chromatic aberration is strong on this. I'm not gonna show any examples, but there are plenty of examples online. Um, the aperturing is, I was, I was scared this is going to be really soft, but it's actually extremely heavy. What, what's the word for it? Dampened. Yeah, it's really dampened. So I, I thought I might have to get one of these, which is a, like a Leica, um, focusing aid. I, I stick it on this Seven Artisans fisheye lens because it's too easy to move the, uh, the aperturing on it. Um, so I have it on and I know when it hits the, uh, uh, the switch, the autofocus switch, um, I know that I'm on, uh, that I've, yeah, I'm in the right place basically where I want my aperture to be. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of a, uh, a comparison. Um, uh, this is the F2 at F2. Both of these are at F2, uh, to make a comparison ish. As you can see, it looks fine. And then if we put the Viltrox on, you can see there's just there's distortion. I've not updated the, the firmware on this, um, and I don't know if there's lens correction profiles in Lightroom, so I have to look out for that. Um, but as it stands, you can see noticeable distortion. So that's a little bit of an issue, but it's not a problem for me. Uh, the sharpness is definitely better on the Fuji. But it's, it's fine, the Viltrox is good enough for me. What I do is generally street photography, so it's good enough at f2, it's good enough at f1.4 as well. Um, there's no cloudiness or ghosting or lock, not much less, a tiny little bit of loss of contrast at f1.4. It's absolutely fine though, it's such a fun lens to use. Um, so that's it, yeah. Um, uh, this is the first time I've ever done one of these videos, by the way, so I know I've done it cheaply without you know giving you proper samples and everything um it's just that there's no other comparison videos so i thought i'd stick one up there so maybe you can enlarge this and, and get something out of it this is the viltrox I'll, and then this is the fuji so i've just put the fuji up for sale and i'm going to stick with the viltrox until the sigma comes out if it ever does uh the sigma won't have an, ap an aperture ring but um I've used the Sigma lenses on Micro Four Thirds and they're absolutely spectacularly clinically sharp. So uh, I'm definitely going to switch to that because they will also uh, control the chromatic aberration, which is the major downside of this lens. It seems to focus just as fast as the, uh, as the Fuji. Um, so yeah, I think the only problem is chromatic aberration. Um, so if you're not doing paid work, I would go with the 56 1.4. If, you, if you're doing paid work or you want something a little bit lighter and smaller, then go with the Fuji. Okay, thanks for watching.